so back in the Langdales. Um, I do feel that when I'm on, I'm on with work and retreats and workshops and stuff, but when I'm off, I'm off. So no signal, just me, nature, solo. Uh, I feel a sense of belonging. I feel a sense of, um, I don't know, where you can just gather your thoughts, let them settle. It's like uh, I get to reflect on what I've um, shared in my workshops and retreats. And I get a sense of grounding and prepare for the next workshops and retreats. So this is why I like to do uh, a lot of things solo because truly when I'm off, <laughs> I'm an introvert uh, and I just like that space to uh, reconnect.
Being in nature not only allows me to ground my work, but allows me to strengthen my healing process. Especially this year, I feel much liberation and I have the freedom to make the decisions or the life decisions that suits me best. And through my healing, I'm learning I should not allow perceived disappointment of others to dictate my decisions. Creating a life of freedom and fulfillment often means going against the status quo, against familiar demands and society expectations, like my exploration of running an ultramarathon without any running training, like van life. After the passing of my mother, I realise I will not find the validation I'm seeking within the council of pessimists and cynics. Perhaps their beliefs are self-fulfilling. Instead, over the last seven years, I'm surrounding myself with mentors I teach, and equally, I like to be taught. I visit my intention with curiosity and foster my potential because I understand others will want to foster it too. If I can hold it in my head, I can hold it in my hand. So I'm creating the life that I want and enjoying the process.